What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. Today we're gonna be talking about the top 10 crazy After Effects techniques. If you're new here to the channel, this series focuses on some of the most amazing and impressive techniques coming out from creators just like you. After Effects in itself is one of the most powerful VFX, motion graphics, and positing softwares to have come out, but it wouldn't be nearly as dope if it wasn't thanks to the creative minds like the creators on this list. If you haven't already, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the super dope stuff that we've got planned. Also, if you're already subscribed, huge thanks because you guys are the ones who are helping us get that much closer to our goal of hitting 500,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I know that's super ambitious, but I also know that's something that we can do. Anyways, I'm super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. Quick disclaimer, this video is not in order of importance. These creators are just too dope to compare like that. But the final three on this list are the creators that I think have just been super impressive. So without further ado, I got the list. Let's just hop right into this. First up at number 10, here we have one from user Pretty Challenge 815 who creates this awesome VFX shot of him making lunch but with a Spider-Man effect. Now, I'm not sure if you followed the tutorial from Andreas Hem who breaks down in details how to get your own Spider-Man effects and web shooter VFX shot. So if you guys are interested in learning how to do that you're on your own, go ahead and give Andreas Hemp some love. I love how this one came out because of that extra detail in which the can moves when he first shoots it with that web before tugging it away. And that little subtle detail just adds that much more physicality to this VFX shot. Love your work a lot and I hope to see more. Next up at number nine, this next one is from Gillen Art and it's actually a follow up to the last video that we featured on the top 10 crazy After Effects techniques in which we just showcased two different isometric animations, but this one is a complete composite of over seven different isometric animations that he's made and bundled them together to create this pretty interesting story arc. I love the style of this and the creativity and the way that you're even able to make something that seems like a modular animation because you have all these different pieces just added together, which by themselves are super dope, but then combined together makes something greater than the sum of its parts. Anyways, I love your work a lot, Gillen Art, and keep it up. Number eight on the list, here we have one from Joyce and Ho, who creates this amazing motion graphics piece called Resonance, in which she explores using elongated line textures to create something that honestly looks like it came straight out of Interstellar. Joyce is a mastermind when it comes to After Effects abstract motion graphics. You can check out more of her work on her Vimeo. And she's responsible for creating some of the dopest title sequences I've seen. Now, at first, I was super stumped for figuring out how to make this resonance effect until I saw one from Preston Out of Time, aka Preston Paris. What's even better is that he also included an entire breakdown on his YouTube channel in which he shows the process of using an image or a video clip and then creating a composition of a 19 by 20 by one and then using the effect polar coordinates to just stretch that one pixel all the way around. And it creates some amazing looking results. I love the way that you made this effect and I hope to see more. Here at number seven, here we have one from Wells Fuego. And I love the way that he makes these abstract animations with a ball because who doesn't love balls? <laughs> It seems to be a part of a whole series he does in which he really pushes After Effects and the motion design capabilities by including this ball going through different scenes, well lit up, well texturized, and just great color theory all in all. These ones are super fun to watch and I love them a lot and keep it up Wells Fuego. Noha Tram also does something similar, amazing looking abstract motion graphics. I love how beautifully playful these ones come out and they're just a visual treat to watch. Great work Wells Fuego and Noha Tram and I hope to see more of your work. Number six on the list. Okay, here we have one from Alex Gorbanov who creates these really impressive logo animations. I love the way that his logo animations aren't really basic at all. They're actually a huge combination of motion graphics techniques having the proper stretch and squeezing effects even motion trails and then on top of that he's even doing these awesome shape transformations to really bring these logos to life and not just 
hitting zero percent on your opacity to a hundred percent there's a lot of time and care placed in these animations and watching them is just a fun treat to experience thanks for making these and showing the community alex gorbanov and i hope to see more of your work all right we're about halfway through the list at number five here we have one from hysterical designer aka klein motion who creates this amazing stop motion vibe with this blink and wink graphic which he used for this really cool stop motion collage video i like how he uses a pretty obscure effect in after effects called reshape and just by being able to draw some masks and then before and after mask super powerful in creating this really awesome and useful blink effect also huge thanks for showing a background into your process because it definitely helps show the magic behind making something like this i love your work a lot and i hope to see more number four on the list this one comes from user fasana 86 who creates this play on reality in which he's frozen in space and time while taking a photo I think it was a really clever use of the techniques of motion tracking and rotoscoping to where all he really had to do was take a freeze frame of him and then properly track that ground to replace him in there and duplicate that same freeze frame and place it on the ground for the shadows. And it just ended up coming out really dope and awesome. I love this one a lot, Fasana86, and I hope to see more. All right, now we're getting into the final three, number three on the list. This one comes from Laurent Zagary, who creates this awesome looking title sequence. It's very moody and dark. And it looks like it can pass for some sort of Netflix trailer or intro sequence. I love the use of textures and color correction to really bring this piece to life. Not just create a beautiful looking aesthetic, but one that also communicates a really dark and interesting mood. Number two, this next one is from Just Gosha, who creates this awesome plugin for After Effects. Not only that, but it is a completely free plugin while it's in beta. And this one does a great job at making any footage look like it was shot during the 1980s with some sort of VHS filter over it. Now, there are other ways to create VHS filters, like using Red Giant's VFX Suite, but that software costs a crap ton of money. And this one right here is completely free. Now, you don't get as many features as you would if you got something like Red Giant's, but at the same time, I gotta give it up to a lone developer that's given out his plugins for free. So thanks a lot for pushing the community forward with that. And last but not least, at number one, this one is from Pathos Filmmaker, who creates this really funny animation of him weightlifting. Now, at first, everything seems normal until all of a sudden his arms stretch to the height of him. I'm assuming he's using something like Liquify to make this effect, but at the same time, there's just all these extra details like that camera movement and that amazing acting to really bring this VFX scene to life. Pathos Filmmaker also makes this really creative human zoetrope in which it was shot with a drone and then he creates all these different stances inside of this circle. And when played all the way through, it creates an interesting animation that I don't even know how he was able to concept this and then bring it to life. I love Papo's Filmmaker and your work and I hope to see more of it. So these techniques were some of the most impressive that I found this past month. If you're curious about learning more After Effects techniques, you should also check out this video right here. It's gonna go through a whole bunch more creators who are pushing After Effects to its absolute limit and doing all sorts of creative and clever techniques. So I don't know what you're still doing here. Just go ahead, click on that video and check it out. Thanks again for watching and helping make this the greatest motion design community in the world. As always, I hope to catch you on the next one. Peace.